Have you ever met people who just seem to have ideas on almost everything? Those are high impact people. Welcome to Sitam Church Online. Today I want to talk about high impact people as people who have great insight on various things. My name is David Oginde, presiding bishop of Christ is the Answer Ministry. And I'm happy to have you watching this video on high impact people. We have been looking at the life of Joseph and Joseph as we have seen was a unique kind of young man. Today we look at a different aspect. Joseph was a man of dreams. In fact, he's known as the dreamer. In our ordinary language, that's what we call insight. The a capacity to look into issues, to understand circumstances, to interpret situations in a manner that brings meaning to whoever it is that is in that situation. That is what Joseph was. A man who could understand his own circumstances, the circumstances of their family, and eventually of the whole universe. Joseph, as a high impact person with great insight, the first thing we find in him is that he had a personal dream, insight into his own future, where he was going. When we meet Joseph, Joseph is sharing his dreams with his brothers. And he tells them of this dream that he has about his future. That tells you that Joseph had an idea of where he was going. He was not one of these people who you ask them, so where are you going? What is your future? What would you like to be? And say, you know, you know, you know. Especially as young people, sometimes we find ourselves in that situation where you are not sure exactly what your future holds, where you are going. Joseph was not that kind of a person. He was so clear about his dream when he shared it with his brothers. The brothers were very disturbed, but you don't find Joseph disturbed because for him it was so clear. This is where I'm going. I'm going to rule the universe. He talks about the stars and the moon and the sun all bowing before him. And he says it's as if it is a casual thing. That is something you realize about high impact people. When they share with you their dreams, where they are going, what they want to do, it is with such confidence that sometimes makes you unsettled because they are clear in their mind. They have insight into where they are going, what they want to do. And that is what propels them because when you have a vision and a dream for where you are going, you become focused. And I think we talked about that in the beginning. You become very focused. You are not distracted by the things happening around you. You get to go where you want to go. And so we find Joseph had insight about his own personal future. If you are a high impact person, in fact, let me put it the other way around. You cannot be a high impact person if you don't know where you are going. If you have no insight, you have no idea of where you yourself are going. Who will you impact if you yourself are lost? You know, like uh, some people have this sticker, don't follow me because I am lost. But a person who knows where they are going, they can lead and others follow. Follow me for I know where I'm going. That is what you, Paul says in, in the Bible. He says, follow me as I follow Christ. Because he himself had committed himself to following Jesus. He knew where he was going. High impact people has, have personal insight about their future. But secondly, high impact people are not just engrossed with their own future, with their own lives. High impact people also have insight for others. When they sit with others and listen to their dreams and listen to what they are saying, they can interpret that and tell that person what actually it means. High impact people are people who become counselors, advisors, coaches, mentors, because 
they listen to you and as you share sometimes very vaguely of what you are thinking, uh, what you are hoping and what you are praying about, they are able to pick those little pieces that you are giving to them. Put them in a way that when they begin to tell you what it means, you feel like, wow, you know me better than I know myself. I have seen people, I have sat with people who I'm just sharing the thoughts I have about an idea and, and, and they are able to put those things together and say, uh, maybe this is what you should do or maybe this is what you should be thinking about or maybe this is where you should be going or maybe this is what God is saying. And when they say it, it just sinks down to your heart. You feel like, yes, that sounds like it. Those are high impact people. Joseph was that kind of a man. When he was in prison, two inmates had dreams and they had no idea of what they were dreaming about or what the dreams meant. And so they approached Joseph and shared with him the dreams that they had. And Joseph immediately interpreted those dreams for them. And he told the baker, um, your dream is not a very positive one because you are going to meet your maker. In just three days, you're going to be put to death. And indeed, <laughs> the baker was put to death. The cupbearer who had been working in Pharaoh's palace, he told him, your dream says that you are going to be restored. You're going to get your job back. And indeed, just like Joseph had said in three days, the cupbearer was taken back to Pharaoh's palace. Of course, Joseph told him, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He didn't remember, but that's a different story. But what we find here is that Joseph is able to take the dreams of these people that they share with him, interpret it for them, and tell them what actually those dreams mean. High impact people are people like that. They are interpreters of dreams. You come to them with your ideas, you come to them with your dreams, you come to them with your vision, you come to them with the thoughts that you are not so very clear about but are at the back of your mind. And they are able to put those things together and say, I think this is what I'm hearing. This is what the Lord is saying. This is what I think you should be doing. This is where the route that I think you should go. The way you are going, I think that is not the one. Maybe you should try your hand on this. And you'll find that when you take those words seriously, they actually not only make sense, but they put you on the course of where you ought to go. I'm sure some of you may have met people like that. If you are going to be a high impact person, you cannot afford to just be engrossed with your own things. Just thinking about yourself, me, myself, and I. But you are also thinking about the people that are around you. What are their dreams? What are their visions? What is God saying about them? They could be your siblings. They could be your parents. They could be the, your colleagues at place of work. It could be at church. You know, you see things happening and you are able to help individuals put together their thoughts in a way that makes sense. The opposite of such people, high impact people, are people who are destructive. You come to them with an idea. They tell you that can't work. So and so tried that and it never worked. Ah, those are dreams that can, where will you get even the money? You know, they discourage you. They kill your dreams even before they form in your mind or in your mouth. You do not want to sit next to those people. You do not want to associate yourself with dream killers. These are people who will destroy you before you go far. But when you find a dream interpreter like Joseph, you feel like you want to hang around them because they are able to pick very small ideas and encourage you to go for it. 
you could be telling them i want i'm thinking of starting a business in this way on that way i do not know where i'll get the money i don't know how it will work out and they are telling ah i know so and so who did this i know you can go and see so and so they can help you in this area i know this and that you can do and it will be possible those are dream interpreters they impact your life they don't leave you the same but thirdly and finally high impact people do not just have insight about their own self or about other people's dreams they also have insight about the future of the group or community that they are in after joseph was released from prison he ended ends up in pharaoh's palace pharaoh had a dream in fact two of them all his magicians all the people who were around him could not tell him what the dreams were or what they meant and so he was looking across his kingdom to find anybody who could interpret these dreams for him that's where the cupbearer remembered joseph and said there was a man in prison he interpreted my dreams and they came true i believe he can answer your prayer and so joseph was sent for pharaoh told him the dreams and he told pharaoh this is what your dream means there is going to be seven years of famine of of plenty and then that will be followed with seven years of famine if you are going to keep your people alive during the seven years of plenty you should gather as much as you can and store it so that it will be used in the seven years of famine of lack when pharaoh heard this he was so amazed he took joseph put him in charge and he said you are the one who is going to do this which you have told me now the bible says that that dream of pharaoh which joseph interpreted and implemented was able to save the whole universe as known that time because it was only in egypt where food was to be found and because pharaoh had gathered so much food through joseph the world was coming all roads led to egypt to go and get food from there because of joseph's interpretation of the dream because of joseph's insight into the issues that pharaoh had the world was saved high impact people are people who have insight into the things that are happening around about them when they watch the news when they see events happening around them they are able to look into that and understand what is it that is happening around us they are able to interpret and appreciate what could be happening what other people may not be seeing and therefore high impact people have insight into issues that affect not only themselves not just their friends or colleagues but affects groups that affect families that affect even a nation or the continent or the world when a high impact person is seated in a family gathering and the family is discussing where they should be going and what should be happening they keep there they listen to the issues that are being raised and they are able to come up with insight i think this is what we should do and everybody will say true that is it suddenly their eyes are opened their ears are opened their hearts are opened and they can see clearly what this person is saying when a high impact person is is in an organization they are the ones who will be in the strategic planning they will see where the organization needs to go they will have done an environmental scanning looking at what the environment is saying and what is happening around us and how the organization should position itself uh, for the future those are the kind of people like joseph who are saying as an organization as a company this is how we should position ourselves if we are going to survive the time that is coming ahead when this person is working in government they are the ones who are looking at the whole situation and coming up with ideas on how things should be done this is a these are people who have deep insight they look below the surface when everybody is seeing what is just there they are looking below the surface because high impact people have 
deep insight. You are listening to me, you are watching this clip, and you are thinking to yourself, how can I become that person? The Bible tells us that these things that happened to Joseph, it was not just because Joseph was a clever man or Joseph was a wise man, but the Bible says Joseph had favor with God. God knows everything. He is what we call omniscient, all-knowing. So there's nothing that is hidden from him. So when we submit ourselves to God and allow God to work through us, God then downloads, as it were, to use today's language, insight, wisdom, uh, knowledge that is not common with everybody. And so you can find yourself telling people things that even you, you are shocked. Where did I, that, one, that one come from? There are times when people have come to me for counseling, you know, they, they, they want to get an idea of what they need to do and so on. And as the person is sharing with me their ideas, I'm thinking to myself, what can I even tell this person? I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to tell this person. But I pray under my breath and I say, Lord, give me insight as to what I should tell this person. And let me tell you, almost every time when I open my mouth, I begin to talk to this person. The ideas that begin to flow, I myself am aware, this cannot be me. This is God. Because it is God who gives us wisdom. It is God who gives Solomon wisdom. If you want to be a person of insight, the fear of the Lord, the Bible says, is the beginning of wisdom. This is not something that you get through education. You do not get it through just sitting with wise people. It is something that is downloaded from heaven directly. And so if you're watching me and you want to be that kind of a person, I have an idea for you. I have a secret for you. Align yourself with God, and God will give you wisdom. In fact, he says, if anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask, and he will give liberally. If you are that kind of a person, and this is your desire, you want to align yourself with God today, I want to pray with you. Would you want to pray together with me? Let's pray together. Everlasting Father, your word says you are the God of all wisdom. I want to pray for every one of us who is watching this clip. Somebody there is saying, I need wisdom. I need ideas. I need insight on how to just live my life, but also to be able to help others. I'm praying that you will reach out to that person as they reach out to you and grant them wisdom and insight. If any of them does not know you as Lord and Savior. I pray that as they call out to you today, may they find you who is the author of life. And may their journey from this day be different because they have associated with you. We thank you and we praise you for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching this clip. If you would want us to connect with you, please get in touch with us through the uh, various platforms that are listed down here. We will be happy to talk with you and help you in your journey of insight and wisdom. God bless you. See you next time.